What's up guys, we're looking at the Future One, and I believe this is, no, I know for sure, it is a definite copy of the Inspire One. Uh, it looks just like it, same colors, same landing gear, which is pretty awesome. They did a really good job uh, with the landing gear here, how it raises up, lowers down, it's not gimmick, gimmicky um, at all. Uh, it has a camera, doesn't have a gimbal. Don't get me wrong, this is no mini Inspire like that's gonna perform uh, like the Inspire, but this is just like a toy grade version. And like I said, they did a really good job because like the way this thing flies is actually really, really good. So let's just take a look around this guy here real quick. The battery is up on top. It's a special kind of battery. So you're definitely, that's kind of a downer that, I mean, it's cool the way they designed it. They went with the, you know, you gotta have the expensive battery that only they sell. Um, but this actually puts out a little bit more battery time than it said in the directions. And the directions said like eight minutes. I've been getting 12 minutes that I've been flying like in the most advanced mode, just back and forth. I mean, this thing is just so fun uh, to fly and it's so like, I don't know, it's a really good flyer. So the battery takes about, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours or so to charge. Uh, but it's got a really good flight time, way longer than I expected for this quad. Um, there's three different versions of this. There's the 720p uh, camera, which this is the version that I have. Then they have a Wi-Fi version. Then they have a 5.8 gigahertz where it comes with a screen. You can see what you're seeing. I would opt out of the Wi-Fi versions. Uh, most of the cheaper Wi-Fi ones that I review, the lag is just not as good like at all. It's, it's not good. So I'd go with the 5.8 gigahertz. Um, so the camera's up here on top. Now it is stabilized on a digital six axis uh, type of stabilizer. So, uh, but yeah, the camera's right up there. The propellers, it does come with an extra set of propellers and they just unscrew here and they'll pop right off. It's real easy to do. Uh, it does have very bright LEDs, red and green on the front and back. Very easy to see uh, during the daytime and yeah, that's about that. On the bottom, we have the landing gear, pads here, pads, and they have a pad here just in case you land while it's all the way down um, to protect that. So it's pretty well built and it's got, you know, some decent weight to it. Uh, here's the transmitter that it comes with. Now, originally, when I first got this, it was like a month ago, the landing gear was like going up and down, up and down on its own, and it was like kept, to tr kept trying to go up so I kind of put it back up, but then just the other day, I was like, hey, I gotta do something with this thing, and I tried it again, and it worked. Um, and I haven't had any issues. I've flown it a few times, about this is my third time out flying, and this thing performs really good, so I probably just, I don't know if I left the battery unplugged uh, so long that it did a reset or what, but I don't have that problem again for right now. But this is the transmitter that I come with. Uh, somehow I broke this, but I've done all my flying without this actually there. And the transmitter, I mean, it works just fine. Uh, we have some buttons for different flight modes if you wanna fly a little bit more aggressive. And then they have uh, the camera. And then, let me uh, plug this thing, turn this on real quick. So, to take a video, it is the left one. And then to move the landing gear, it's the right one. You just push the right one and it will, or did I turn on the camera? And actually I just got done flying this too. So I think what might've happened is that the batteries are just low right now because it's saying, hey, I can't like adjust. But you would hit this button right here and they go up and then they go mid and then they go low. So uh, you can do that on the ground, you can do that in flight. It doesn't affect the flying um, whatsoever. When the battery is low though, you will get these blinking uh, LED lights and they're nice set up on there. I mean like, they're really easy to see. They're really good looking, I think. And yeah, besides that little issue I had with that thing, this thing is a definite uh, steal of a deal. Uh, for looks, it looks awesome. It flies awesome. Uh, a lot better than, like this is a pretty decent sized quad too, you know. Like I've had other ones this size and they'll go a little bit, you know, for like a minute or two and then they just kind of get a little bit slow and sluggish. 
this one doesn't do that i mean it flies until it's about to die and then the leds start blinking and boom it's done but besides that i definitely recommend this guy i put a link in the description that's that thanks for watching